What's going on guys, happy 4th of July, and I'm about to show you a tip that I posted on my Instagram, and if you're not already following me, you should be, because that's where I post majority of my fitness content, tips, tricks, techniques, exercise instruction, all of that usually gets posted on my Instagram, but I thought I'd start sharing some of them on my YouTube as well, so here's one of those tips. What's going on guys, happy 4th of July. Again, today I'm back with a bench press tip, or kind of a bench press checklist. So when you're going up to set up for your bench press, you shouldn't just be grabbing the bar, ripping and going. You need to be thinking about kind of your whole setup. So start with your base, your foot placement. Make sure you have a good secure spot on your ground. Some people like to come up on the toes, tuck their legs further back. Find whatever's comfortable for you that you can utilize good leg drive and also keep yourself stable and planted. Next thing, make sure you're retracting that scapula. I like to think up, back, down, punch that scapula down dig those traps into the pad of the bench so you have a slight arch in your back. The last thing, grip. A lot of people are just grabbing the bar, they're measuring out, they're just going. But you need to be thinking about what's the most optimal grip for you. If you're very strong in your triceps, you might want to use a closer grip. If you're very strong in the chest, you might want to use a wider grip. Just try to use a grip that's most optimal for you, what's safest for you, you're not getting too much shoulder irritation or anything like that. But that's a quick kind of three things you need to be checking as you're going through your setup. And then from there, again, then it's actually performing the movement. But you need to think about setup because setup is crucial for all lifts, but especially those big compounds like the bench press, squat, and deadlift. Your setup is crucial to how you're going to perform during the set. So hopefully you guys found that helpful, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a happy fourth.